the helicopter spiraled through the air, a mangled symbol of power. Its intended passenger, President Emerson Mnangagwa, was thankfully absent, yet the crash at Masvingo Airport sent shockwaves through Zimbabwe, far beyond the wreckage. This was no ordinary accident. It ignited a political firestorm, fanning the flames of distrust between Mnangagwa and his vice president, Constantino Chiwenga. Before the dust settled, whispers of sabotage filled the air. Mnangagwa, a man who had survived countless plots, harbored deep suspicions. His gaze fell upon Chiwenga, a former military chief with a history of ruthlessness. The incident rekindled old tensions, exposing the fragility of their alliance. Zimbabwe held its breath, bracing for the aftershocks. The crash became a morbid spectacle, a grim reminder of the nation's volatile politics. The incident cast a long shadow over the country, deepening the existing rifts within the ruling ZANU-PF party. It was a stark illustration of the high-stakes power struggles that have plagued Zimbabwe for decades. Munangagwa, known as the crocodile for his political cunning, was not a man to be trifled with. He had clawed his way to the top, surviving purges and betrayals. His instincts, honed over years of political manoeuvring, screamed danger. Chiwenga, with his military background and rumoured ambitions, represented a clear and present threat. The crash amplified Manangagwa's distrust. It confirmed his darker suspicions about his deputy's loyalty. Every interaction, every utterance was now scrutinised for hidden agendas. The air crackled with tension, the silence punctuated by unspoken accusations. The fragile trust that once bound them had shattered, leaving behind a dangerous void. Manangagwa retreated further into his inner circle, a small group of loyalists who fueled his paranoia. He saw shadows lurking in every corner, agents of Chiwenga plotting his downfall. The crash had shaken him, transforming him into a man haunted by his own suspicions. His grip on power, once seemingly unassailable, now felt precariously balanced. The stage was set for a grand celebration. Manangagwa, at the helm of a nation yearning for stability, was to mark his birthday with the launch of Munhumutapa Day at the Great Zimbabwe Monuments. It was a calculated display of power, an attempt to project an image of unity and strength, yet one crucial figure was conspicuously absent, Constantino Chiwenga. The snub was impossible to ignore. Chiwenga, citing a prior engagement in Bulawayo, dismissed the event as inappropriate. His absence spoke volumes, echoing louder than any words. It was a blatant challenge, a public declaration of defiance that sent shockwaves through the ruling party. The carefully constructed facade of unity crumbled, revealing the deep fissures beneath. Speculation ran rampant. Was Chiwenga sending a message? Was he consolidating his power base, preparing for a showdown? The timing, so soon after the helicopter crash, was no coincidence. It fueled rumours of a brewing coup, whispers of a military eager to reclaim its grip on power. Section 4, the military's shifting sands. The Zimbabwean military, a formidable force with a history of intervention, watched the unfolding drama with keen interest. Their loyalty, once unwavering towards Manangagwa, began to waver. Chiwenga, a former commander, still commanded respect within the ranks. His influence, like a phantom limb, reached deep into the barracks, whispering promises of power and patronage. The shifting allegiances sent tremors through the corridors of power. Menangagwa, acutely aware of the military's pivotal role, felt his grip on power slipping. He had relied on their support to consolidate his rule, but now their loyalty hung in the balance. The crash had upset the delicate equilibrium, emboldening Chiwenga and his allies within the armed forces. The spectre of a coup loomed large. Zimbabwe had witnessed such power grabs before the scars of the 2017 coup that ousted Mugabe still fresh. The current climate of instability, fueled by the crash and its aftermath, created fertile ground for military intervention. The nation held its breath, praying that history would not repeat itself. Section 5 calls for justice and a nation on edge. The helicopter crash, once a shocking incident, quickly became a symbol of a nation teetering on the brink. Outrage poured in from all quarters, demanding answers, accountability and justice. The Zimbabwe Youth Action Platform, or ZIAP, 
labelled it a treasonous attack, their voices echoing the fears of many, they demanded a thorough and impartial investigation, a quest for truth amidst the swirling rumours and accusations. The incident exposed the deep divisions within Zimbabwean society. It highlighted the fragility of the post-Mugabe era, a period marked by both hope and trepidation. The crash became a Rorschach test, with different factions projecting their own interpretations and agendas onto the wreckage. It served as a stark reminder of the challenges facing the nation, corruption, economic instability and a pervasive climate of fear. As the investigation into the crash dragged on, so too did the uncertainty. Zimbabwe found itself at a crossroads, its future hanging precariously in the balance. The world watched, holding its breath, hoping that the nation could navigate this turbulent period and emerge stronger on the other side. The crash, a tragedy in its own right, became a crucible, testing the resilience of the Zimbabwean spirit.